hey guys welcome back to my channel and today I will be starting new tutorial series uh, the GraphQL beginner to advanced tutorial series and like why I chose this tutorial is something like there are limited good tutorials available on YouTube although there are so many you will find but some of them are using different approaches some of them are very old so you will say like uh, why you should follow my tutorial then what I can say in that case is like I will be using the latest technologies latest Apollo version Apollo server version I will follow the production with some use cases I will not follow some like examples only I will try to do things from scratch if even if you are not aware about anything about the express server or about node.js server even like you don't know anything about the backend API you will be able to catch up my tutorial from scratch so this tutorial is for everyone like you must know the JavaScript but yeah if you if you don't know about the node.js backend server that is enough i will be able to explain you from the scratch all right so what is graphql like why we should use graphql so the graphql is something like a query language you can uh, right now you can understand it's some kind of syntax that we write it uh, in a specific uh, i mean in a special file and that syntax uh, define some queries or you can say like the endpoint details and like in rest api what happens is like you define multiple endpoints and uh, like in um, either get post put patch these kind of uh, endpoints to define in rest api but in graphql everything will be the post api and the, from the client side we pass some queries like we pass some specific special syntax and the server grabs those syntax and understands like okay these fields are only required then graphql will be sending those fields only instead of sending too many steps so why we should use graphql so there are two things like you might have even read somewhere like under fetching and over fetching by word you can understand like what is over fetching is like let's assume you are are trying to call some rest api let's say you are calling users api and you just have so many details and you just need the user's name only even though like you need the user's name and you will call that api will get all the details so that is kind of overfetching and sometimes like you need to have so many things but you are just not able to grab uh, the data all the data in one request so in that case like that becomes under fetching in graphql like we can combine the multiple queries together also like uh, this is one endpoint so it will be easier to manage as well let's talk about like a how we run it so there are a couple of libraries available like the one is express graphql express and the most famous is the apollo server so i will be using the apollo version server version 4 and uh, like uh, there are some syntaxes and new syntaxes in the Apollo Federation so Apollo Federation is nothing but it's an advanced version of like uh, GraphQL so why I'm saying advanced like we can use it for microservice architecture like whenever let's say we have multiple microservices and they have separate subgraphs so we can combine those subgraphs using Apollo Federation so we'll see the Federation in the at the end of the tutorial series I will just pick up uh, this microservice based architecture at the end and uh, let's take an example let's see an example how uh, I mean things work in GraphQL so as you see like I have picked some I mean example of the countries so this is the rest API free rest API that I am able to get it from the Google somewhere and as you see like uh, these are queries consider like these are the queries that we can do from the backend server and uh, how we write queries like uh, let's say the countries so if i open the countries you can see like these are the fields available so let's say we want to get these fields only i mean just name and language so as you see like the countries uh, it's a plural so assume like uh, this might be returning multiple countries also you can see like this is kind of array structure 
we are writing the type inside the array kind of brackets so it's a special syntax of graphql there we write this way and let's say if you want to um, query you want to get just get the name and the language even the language you see like this is written in the bracket so it is a uh, i mean the one or more languages so we see like uh, this type of language has uh, multiple value fields here like code name native and rtl let me just go back and query this and see like how it works so i'll query this way now what i can do is like let's say i need name and i need uh, languages so when i type languages uh, it will ask me to type one of the fields since it is another like uh, type of it is not uh, you can say the scalar types so scalar you can say in, understand in terms of javascript like it is not a primitive data type uh, it's it's it is referring to languages so i will have to choose one from that type so let's say i'm picking up name from the language if i query it i will be able to get the data from here let's say that i'm getting uh, countries i'm getting name languages name as well also like if you want to in case if you need some other fields as well you, you don't need to do much modification here you will just typing one field name here even you don't need to use the comma or semicolon here so here we are getting the code as well all right so this was this was like a basic overview of how query works in graphql we'll see everything in details and we'll build some application as well during this i mean uh, while we will be progressing through the tutorial series uh, we'll be building some application as well we'll build the complete graphql a uh, node js server so that was it from this video uh, if you liked it please follow and uh, subscribe my channel so that you will get notified thank you for watching have a nice day